We're hearing from reaction from other departments all over our area. And, and when these things happen, we hear from departments all over the country. And, and the turnout of support of that thin blue line is made very, very clear. Uh, so we'll, we'll continue to read those for you as we get them in. But we are just in, in standby mode right now until we get more information. And while we dig into that, let's go to Josh Breslow, who's at the alert desk. Yeah, that's right, Nikki. So as you mentioned there, we are hearing from law enforcement agencies all over Middle Tennessee right now. We're talking Wilson County as well as Williamson County and here in Nashville. I can tell you Captain Tyler Chandler, he's with the Mount Juliet Police Department. We told you what they had to say earlier. He just tweeted out, stay strong, Officer Baker. We stand with you alongside your Metro Police family and are praying for you. A lot of these asking for thoughts and prayers right now for Metro Police Officer Josh Baker. THP Nashville also tweeting out, ask that you take a moment to help us send up prayers for Metro Nashville Police Officer Josh Baker shot this morning. THP, of course, Tennessee Highway Patrol stands with our brothers and sisters at Metro Nashville Police Department. Rutherford County Sheriff's Office saying they're offering prayers for Officer Josh Baker, who was shot in the line of duty today. Franklin Police saying we're standing with them right now in prayer and invite you to take a few seconds to join us. As we mentioned, Officer Josh Baker, seen in that photo right there, is at Vanderbilt University Medical Center undergoing surgery as we speak. At last check, Metro Police spokesperson Don Aaron says Baker is listed in critical condition. We've also learned that Nika Holbert, the 31 year old woman involved in that shootout, according to police, is at Skyline Medical Center. She is also listed there in critical condition. That's the update from Don Aaron coming in not too long ago. We did take his news conference live. We are waiting for another update, and it's likely the next one we get will come from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. They are now heading up this very active investigation to piece together exactly what happened. And that body camera video will be kind of the indicator here of how all of that played out. It's very likely that will be released not just to the public, to the media, and we can kind of watch it and that will give us a better picture of how all of this happened. Once we get that, of course, we'll bring that to you on air and on our website, WKRN.com. Guys.